Red Sox taking the field in the yellow. We might have to change the name to the Yellow Sox at some <laughs> point if they keep wearing these yellow City Connect jerseys. They've had some success in them. Ten and two this year in the yellow jerseys, and that includes the loss yesterday at the hands of the Detroit Tigers. But on the mound in the top of the first inning will be Cutter Crawford, uh, the aptly named Cutter Crawford, gets the start today for the Boston Red Sox. Yeah, and Cutter Crawford's got great stuff. He's going to come at you with that fastball. He's going to throw that cutter, and he's got the breaking balls to go with it. Cutter Crawford's first pitch is popped up by Badu towards that left field foul line, and a nice grab made by Trevor Story just in fair territory because there's not a whole lot of foul territory down in that neck of the woods. That brings up Riley Green, who has a six-game hit streak. And there is one through in the right field. May have just nicked off the glove of Casas at first base. And it's into right field for a base hit for Riley Green. And here comes Matt Verling, who's 0 for 11. And this one is hit in the air, shallow center field, late break in for Ref Snyder. But he's got plenty of time to get underneath it. Kerry Carpenter makes his way to the plate, and it's been the Kerry Carpenter show here this weekend in Boston. The runner goes, swinging a high fly ball, left center field. On comes Ref Snyder. He's there and makes the catch to retire. The Tigers. Eduardo Rodriguez, fan favorite, Key Cog in the Red Sox rotation over six years. Signed with the Tigers, a free agent before last year. He's faced the Red Sox before, but never here from him. Swing and a miss. Oh, that's really nice job against Ref Snyder. Gets into swing and miss. Strikeout to start the game. Got him with a fastball. No. Swing and a miss. And two straight strikeouts back at Fenway to start the day for Rodriguez. Here's Yoshida hitting 300 in his first season. Bounced right back to him. He will make the flip the first and end the first as Eduardo Rodriguez back in Fenway. Which is a scoreless first inning. So an opportunity here for Miguel Cabrera in what will be his final game playing at Fenway Park in his 21st season in Major League Baseball. And he bounces one too short. Coming home is Torkelson. Cabrera will jog down to first, but he'll take an RBI with him. And the Tigers take a 1-0 lead. So a two-out walk brings up. Connor Wong hitting a 244 with six homers. This one lifted down the right field line into the corner. That's a fair ball. It'll rattle the round towards Kerry Carpenter. On his horse is Tristan Casas. He's being waved home. There will be no play at the plate. It is a triple and an RBI for Connor Wong. I hit a bullet down the line, hit on the track, and the hope was it wouldn't bounce into the stands because then Casas couldn't score. But Tristan lumbered around the bases and touched them all. 1-1 the score, Wong with his 27th RBI. Here's Justin Turner. Hitting 286 with 18 home runs, 72 RBIs. This one is hit high and deep to left field. Badu can turn and watch, and that's on Lansdowne Street. Justin Turner over the monster. Second home run in as many days for Justin Turner. This is a big reason why the Boston Red Sox signed him is he's got pull side power. He's not just a pull hitter. He's going to go the other way and drive in runs consistently. But man, he has been driving balls ever since he got back off this problem with the heel. I'll tell you, if he can hit like this, good things are coming to this team. Trevor Story, hot shot, knocked down by Zach Short. There will be no throw. Another hard hit ball for Trevor Story, and he's aboard here in the third. Runner goes from first. The pitch outside, the throw down, not in time. Trevor Story has his second steal this season as he got a great jump at first base. Story goes again, swung on and missed the throw to third. In time, they got him. Story thrown out trying to steal third. Looked like he may have gotten that left hand in around the tag. And they are going to challenge this one, it looks like. Yeah, I think this one's going to be overturned. Hand gets in there right before he gets on the elbow. Call the field is overturned. The runner is safe. Story safe at third. He singled. He stole second. Now he's stolen third. Now with two down and Story at third. Here's Adam Duvall. Adam popped out on the first pitch. Grounded left side and through. It's a base hit for Adam Duvall. It's a 3-1 lead for the Red Sox. This is a hitter too that the Red Sox would like to see start heating up. It's that fastball in and just shoots the 5-6 hole right here. Now 3-1 ball game. If inning, 3-1 Red Sox. Jake Rogers, the catcher, grounded out 5-3. Rogers strikes out two away. Five straight retired by Cutter Crawford. Just the second strikeout this afternoon, though. For Crawford. Kiel Badu batting. First pitch line drive left field. This one's deep. This one's got a chance, and that ball's gone. A home run. Kiel Badu smokes a fastball over the green monster. Opposite field shot number seven. And the Tigers are within one, trailing three to two. Out of the fifth inning, Ristori leading off, swinging a high fly left field. 
It's going to be stay in the ballpark. We're doing having trouble, oh. and he can't find it, and it falls, and it's going to be a sun caused double for Trevor Story. He was in trouble right in front of the track. And the ball landed about three feet to his left. First and third, nobody out for Duvall. was popped to third and singled. And there's a drive to left field, way back. And this is long, gone, a towering shot over everything. Deep in the lands down straight, a three-run blast by Duvall. And the Red Sox have a 6-2 lead. A no-doubter. He jumped on that first pitch and crushed him. 11th home run of the season for Duvall. He's driven in four today, three on that swing, and this one off the bat of Pablo Reyes is run down by Kerry Carpenter. Kerry Carpenter gets a great jump on this ball here. Good read here. And stretched out to make some incredible play here. Spencer Torkelson, right-handed hitter, 6-2. to two. Red Sox leading. Beerling over at third with one down. Ground ball too short. That will get the run home as Story throws over for the second out. But it's an RBI ground out for Torkelson. Now 6-3 ball game. 6-3 Red Sox. Story's had an awesome day. Oh, well, there is another hard hit ball by Story. Is it high enough? Just off the top of the wall to stay in play. He'll have to sell for a double as he just missed out on a two-run home run. Good to see him locked in again. Have yourself a day. Four hits, three doubles on the day for Trevor Story. So a couple of two-out hits, but Cisnero gets the final out without a run scoring. So three straight hits. Torkos has been hot here lately. He'll be trying to tie this game up. Grounded too short. Story. Across in time to end the inning. And a lot of noise, but no runs across for the Tigers in the eighth. Emily Jansen, who's had a win and two saves on this homestand out there for the Red Sox in the ninth inning, trying to protect a 6 3 lead, so it is a safe situation. So Miguel Cabrera is going to get another at bat here at Fenway Park. We thought maybe we had seen the last of him, but three hits in the eighth inning and one here in the ninth have gotten Cabrera a standing ovation here at Fenway Park. This place is special. They stand and they recognize, they understand it. They do. They get it. Nice moment, and now it's Cabrera against Canley Jansen here in the ninth, and he hits one high in the air in the shallow center. Late break in for Durant, but he's got the speed to catch up to it. And Cabrera is retired and applauded on his way to the dugout for the final time here at Fenway Park. And it will be Jake Rogers, the catcher who's 0 for 3 to try and keep the inning alive. Swung on and popped up. Screen able to grab it. He overran it. He adjusted and he makes the catch for the final out of the ball game. Red Sox take two out of three from the Tigers.